Student brutally attacked on the edge of campus. It happened early this morning. Fox Connecticut's Jen Bernstein joins us now from Hartford with the very latest. Jen. Brennan Allison, two Trinity sophomores were walking down Allen Place, which borders Trinity's campus, when a car pulled up and a group attacked them. One of those students was seriously beaten. He is in the hospital tonight. The other managed to escape. Here's his firsthand account of what happened. It's just unbelievable how quick it all happened. Sophomore Tim Suspensky was part of a terrifying attack on the edge of Trinity's campus. Between 2 and 3 this morning, he and his friend Chris were walking down Allen Place when a dark car pulled up. Tim says six people jumped out of the car and rushed them. I just immediately started running down Allen Place. At the same time, another Trinity student drove by, saw the attack, and honked her horn scaring the attackers off. While Tim was able to flee, Chris wasn't as lucky. I looked back and my friend Chris was uh, lying on the ground. Um, his face was absolutely destroyed. Chris was rushed to the hospital where he underwent surgery for serious facial injuries, including a broken jaw and broken cheekbone. Tim tells us the attackers stole Chris's wallet and phone. Safety concerns are Nothing new here at Trinity. Over the years, there have been problems on and near campus, several this year alone. Trinity says it is taking steps to ensure safety. Among them, the school is hiring five additional campus officers. More have been assigned to overnight hours, and it's hired consultants to recommend ways to beef up campus security. A school spokesman said tonight, the safety and security of our students is one of our highest priorities, okay. and we certainly don't take incidents like this lightly. But Tim and other students we talked with feel campus security was dismissive about the attack and say the campus-wide email that went out at 11 a.m. wasn't enough. It just seems like this year is even worse than last year. I no longer feel safe walking at night, even with a friend. A Trinity spokesman says they never have been, nor will they be dismissive of students' concerns. On the other side of things, various students we talked with felt campus safety was more here responding to incidents than preventing them. Meanwhile, we are told Chris got out of a seven-hour surgery just about half an hour ago. His parents are flying up from Florida to be with him. Live in Hartford, Jen Bernstein, Fox, Connecticut. Thanks, Jen. We did reach out to Hartford Police. They say they don't have a report on the incident. One person was injured in a quad accident in South